be honest. No, that was scary. Very grateful that we weren't responding to a, ten a tennis ball on a stick, you know? I couldn't continue reading. I had to go straight back to the beginning. There's no witch. Get what is that? Rats. Rats. Did this. You went outside. This is my house! This is my house! Chopin, can I just start with, it's very much more, it's a human story as much as it is a terrifying haunted house story. Was that part of the appeal when taking this on? Absolutely. Um, Wumi and I have discussed a lot about how if you remove the monster from the story, it's equally as powerful. Um, and in some ways, slightly more terrifying because this is a lived experience of so many people. And the psychology of it and the mental trauma that you can't avoid when you go through journeys like Bol and Real do is an entire layer to the story that can't be denied. And I think yeah. it's equally as powerful as the thrill and horror of the monster. So yeah, it was definitely that duality in the layers of the storytelling is definitely something that attracted me. And I think I speak for me when I say attracted both of us to the project. Wumi, I read in the press notes that you're not the biggest horror movie fan. Um, so filming this must have been a nightmare, no? No, uh, filming this was actually really, <laughs> like, I really loved turning up to work every day. And because I found, like, two brothers in Chopper and Remy. But, um, yeah, no, I'm not a horror fan because I really, d I kind of under, I think I underestimated horror. I thought it was kind of just um, scary for scary sake. Um, blood gore people chasing each other with you know knives and and I wasn't interested in that and when I saw some when I saw Get Out for the first time and I saw the social commentary that came with the the horror I was like oh this is a genre I can get down with as long as it's like intellectual and filled with heart and spirit then I'm I'm down with it like and yeah, it's not actually that scary filming because, <laughs> you know, you've got all these things to compete with, you know, lights and people and, you know, it's more, it all has to be in your imagination. So, yeah. I imagine seeing Javier Butter in his all makeup as the Night oh. Witch is pretty... No, that was scary. <laughs> um, does that help? Does that help bring those scares out? Because it is hard to react to something that's not there, but he's there. Yeah, absolutely. I was very grateful that we weren't responding to a Ten a tennis ball on a stick, you know? And um, working with Javier was an incredible experience. And when you have such talented performers, it's easy to not, for it to not feel like work. You know, he's giving you so much for you to respond to that yeah. um, you really are just playing and living and being in the moment. So it was, it was great to work with Javier. Wumi, I wondered um, if you could talk through, there's, without going into spoilers, there's a fairly devastating reveal towards the end of his house. Um, how did you feel when you were first reading the script? Could you tell where it was going? Did you have any idea? I had no idea. Um, I read that um, that twist in the in the script and I literally didn't continue. I couldn't st I couldn't continue reading. I had to go straight back to the beginning and read with that knowledge because I was just so shocked and 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 also I just was so like, oh, I still care about these people. I still love them. I still care, I just care for them. And I thought that was just such, a, such an amazing thing that Remy did that you can't, that even though you are a victim of your circumstances, you are still human and have, you know, flaws and um, that need to be explored too. That yeah. depth was just incredible for me. Um, there's been such a brilliant resurgence in black lead characters in horror films and genre in general. Like, how important is that? Do you feel it's changing for the better, or is there obviously still a way to go? There's definitely a way to go, and yes, it is changing for the better. Um, I think it's just about it's just about representation and people allow allowing people to see themselves in the stories that they're seeing. Um, hopefully, this is the first step not his house, but this, this period that we're in at the moment is the first step on a long journey where it's not just for black people, but for East Asian people and indigenous people and South Asian people, you know, just everyone to feel like they are involved in the stories that we tell. Um, I'm looking forward to that day when this isn't even a discussion topic because it's so normal that we don't just see white people 
or white passing people in lead roles. Yeah, I was just going to say, and as well as like um, gender and ability as well, like we need people. Mm -hmm. And I think the difference, we need to see all people. And I think the difference for us has been having um, uh, creatives that look like us have told stories mm -hmm. about people that look like us. And so mm -hmm. everyone needs that representation at the top, the highest mm -hmm. level too. Yeah.